So what's up guys? I don't usually talk to the camera, but I'm going to today because I'm reviewing the set sail by Radical Seas. I forgot Radical Seas is his name for his get Blech. for a second. So sorry. I can't speak today. So yeah, alright. First things first, I first throw on some big yo-yo string fat chick string on here because I love it. Um now Let's dive into the meat, shall we? The main things I want to point out are the shape. The shape is lovely. It fits in your hand really, really nicely. Like, people usually say that um, organic yo-yos feel the nicest, or like, yeah. Usually like organic, round, shaped yo-yos are the nicest to hold in the hand, but I'd like to differ. I actually think eight shapes are the most comfortable in the hand. Like this, the summit, the cliff somewhat. Um, basically yo-yos that are like, that have a big step and flat rims. Uh, the Genesis too. I hated the Genesis, but love the way it felt in the hand. Yeah. Um, so the biggest change that I would make if I were deciding thing would be to this area here. I would extend the wall out and then I would round it off like this a little bit more so that way it would lean to a little bit better rejections also rounding this a little bit more too so the flat edge blends a little bit more seamlessly with the concaved um, this catch zone area um, if it blended a little bit more seamlessly it would reject a lot better because well it's not probably a non-issue for most people because I, I do, I've been doing a lot of rejections lately just as like, you know, why not? And with this yo-yo, I kind of have to force the rejection a little bit, but that's not really that big of a deal because honestly, that just makes it easier for me to do rejections on my other yo-yos. So I don't know, that's not really that much of a problem. One thing I would really have to note is it has a lot of kickback as like when you throw it down, it doesn't go straight down against the string. It you can feel it unwinding very powerfully. Um, kind of reminds me of the go big actually, in the same manner that when you throw the go big, it has like this pull to it that makes it feel more powerful, um, which is beautiful. Kickback makes yo-yos feel so strong to me. If I would compare air the kickback on this to anything, I'd compare it to the Dreadnought G, which is. Or actually, no, probably the Sentinel. Yeah. Two, either way, two of the most powerful yo yo's I've ever owned. So. I don't know. That's not really a bad thing at all. I would also have to say that there is a little bit of heft to this, even though it doesn't feel like a 70 gram yo yo, it plays very lightly. By light, I mean it feels like 67 grams. Most people have a different opinion of what light is, so I think lightweight is about 66, 67, and then like ultralight would be anything before that, I guess, and midweight would be like maybe 68, 69, and heavy would be anything above 70. <laughs> um, yeah. So the only thing I do is to shave off some of the heft so it's a bit easier on the wrists. You see right here, it's round and it's like bulging out like this. I would probably just make that flat, um, but not concave it because if you concaved it, it would ruin this concave making it less comfortable in the hand. So if they flatten this out a little bit, it would probably shoot to the end of the string a little bit less. Like it'd give it a little bit less kickback, but it would still be just as powerful because of how, how thick the rim weight is on here. I'm a huge fan of yo-yos with kickback mainly because I like how powerful they feel but the only issue with that would probably be that it would it's like it hinders regenerations a little bit. Um, like when I try to do a regen sometimes um, yo-yos with really hefty kickback like this um, they tend to like switch planes like if I were to bind it and it comes back like this and I try to shoot it out sometimes it could turn so then it's not like a clean rejection um regeneration and sometimes it ends up really wobbly after the regeneration but you know that's not really an issue because I don't know that many people who use regenerations in their regular play they just use it on occasion 
Um, but, you know, I tend to use a lot of regenerations in my regular play. So, that's the small issue for me, but I think that's easily fixable if they just made this a tad bit wider. Um, and lightened it up just a little bit, um, so it'd be, like, maybe 66 grams, but, well, 67, because then it would feel lighter because of the way the weight is distributed. So, that's not really a problem. Um, this thing spins like such a monster. It's insane. It spins much harder than my Dreadnought G, which is insane because the Dreadnought G is like, I think the Dreadnought G is like 80 grams or like 79 grams, and that thing spins like a freaking tank. And this thing spins way heavier than that, so... Keep that in mind if you like to do ridiculously long combos of sorts because this thing is absolutely perfect for doing long intricate combos um i would say like tatsuya fujisaki actually i feel like this would suit his style very well um yeah because this is a very competition oriented yo-yo and honestly I've never played a Dazzler, but I feel like a Dazzler would play like an ultra lightweight form of this, to be quite honest. Like, um, there's just something about this that when you throw it, it makes you want to consistently throw it over and over. And like when you do your tricks, they feel almost effortless in the way that this yo-yo kind of like bounces against the strings. Like, it turns positions very easily, and it's like very easy to maneuver. And also, I have to say, I don't know what they did with the response, but this yo-yo binds really, really well. Like, flawlessly, every time. Like, you know, you know that feeling when you first throw a yo-yo, like when you get a fresh, brand new yo-yo in the mail, and then you put your very first fresh piece of string on it, and then you roll it up? And then you do the very first front throw and fr and front regular bind, that clean snap. Like, this gives you that every single time. It's so satisfying just to bind this, which is why I continuously do, like, stalls where you bind it and then you stop it. So it's, like, you know, using it almost like a fixed axle yo-yo sort of thing. I tend to do a lot of those with this yo-yo because I love binding it, but regens aren't the cleanest if I just flick it straight out from the bind, so stalling it makes it a bit easier to do regens to make it, I don't know, less powerful? <laughs> That's a weird thing to say, usually people are all, all for like super spin times and whatnot, but in any case, this yo-yo, I would probably use this exact yo-yo, like the way as is for 3A because of how well it binds, and just the weight and the heft and the amount it spins, it makes it the perfect 3A yo-yo, in my opinion. So, Radical Seas, you better go find yourself a 3A player and send them a couple of these babies. And see what they can do with them, because... Phenomenal. And now I'm gonna maybe do some voiceover clips of Yo-Yo Wing with the different tricks that I mentioned it excelled at and the things that it does not excel at, but can still do very easily and very well. Thank you. Okay, so I'm not gonna do a voiceover because I'm lazy, I'm just gonna talk. Alright, I war... yeah. Okay, well, so first things first, we gotta address the rejection, so I'm gonna do an Alex Gallimore inspired uh, front style trick and it has this rejection there uh, wasn't really that difficult to do, it's just a little bit harder to do than most yo-yos, I mean I'm not, I wasn't like trying to say that it was like terrible at them, I'm just saying it didn't lean itself to rejections, like I've, I've done them easier um, I have to say, re um, regenerations now, see, it vibrates a lot after doing regeneration, and it takes a lot more force to do a regeneration than with the regular yo-yo, and, or, that happens. Um, I mean, it's not the very best for regenerations, but I, it's, it's kind of fun, because then it does improve on regenerations with, like, say, other yo-yos. I do, however, like doing stalls a lot, like so. 
you know. Stalls are very fun on this yo-yo because of how the ape shape stays so stable. Like, after it lays here, it doesn't, like, tilt in any which way. It doesn't want to fall off, like, with, say, a more V-shaped yo-yo. Or, actually, even maybe, like, an imperial-shaped yo-yo. Um, so this thing lends to that really well. And I ha I'm not going to do a really long combo because it's going to take me forever to get that on tape. Uh, so I'm not gonna do that, but trust me when I say this thing spins like such a truck for really, really long combos. Um, because honestly, there's there's nothing really out here, out there that I would rather use to do, like to create a really long combo, because this thing has that feeling that it will spin for like an eternity. Which is really, really awesome. Like, I'm gonna try to freestyle a long combo. I'm gonna mess up every other... Here. I'm just not gonna mine for a little while. Please excuse my Facebook constantly rattling. Like, do you see how long this thing is spinning so far? And how ridiculous that is that it's able to do that? If you want a long spinning yo-yo, this is the only way to go. Like, come on. That was ridiculous. You have to tell me. You can't tell me that's not ridiculous. I mean, I think I just got a knot with that bind, but that's okay because, like, the amount of spin this thing has, it will take you through so many tricks. It's actually the perfect yo-yo to do so with. And one more thing I have to really compliment this thing on is probably, um, crap, I forgot what I was going to say. Shoot. Oh, uh, hopping tricks. Like, Eli hops and pops and bounces, and since it's a very bouncy feeling yo-yo, it lends itself to hops so nicely. Especially for, like, body tricks, too. Because with body tricks, sometimes doing, like, hops is very difficult. Um, but hold on, I'm gonna try to quickly do this one trick that I created. Um, that's an arm trick that I actually can't nail with any other yo-yo, to be quite honest, because of how odd it is, it kills a lot of the spin time from the yo-yo. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, shoot. Eh, popped it out the wrong side. Whatever. It's all good. But, as you can see, it's really lending itself to doing a lot of pops. stupid ceiling. Well, that would have been cool. And also, like, say... <laughs> or something. It's, it's very easy to do pops on. Well, I mean, there's not really much else I can and say. I feel like if they made it a lot lighter weight, it would be really, really great for Bybe. The way it is now is the ultimate 3A yo-yo, in my opinion. And if they... Basically, if and if they took away a little bit of the heft, or um, then it would be the ultimate competition 1A oriented yo-yo. It would be great all around. And I guess that kind of concludes this review, because there's not really much else I can say. I, like, almost hiccuped and I couldn't.